Take me back to June 27th. You and President Clinton were both in Phoenix, Arizona. He saw your plane on the tarmac. He got on board your plane. How did that visit happen? Did somebody say, hey, President Clinton's outside, he wants to come in, or did he just come in? Well, I can't say what President Clinton saw or thought because I wasn't in, in communication with him before that. So I don't know what was in his mind. No, but did the and say, hey, he's outside, he wants to come in? All I can tell you is that we were landing and we were, we were moving on with our program and we were about to leave and about to go um, into our cars and move on uh, to our evening events. And it was communicated to me that he wanted to say hello. And that was all the information uh, that we gained. Trump campaign manager Kellyanne Conway told me that that meeting, President Clinton coming to you, um, quote, bothered some voters because it, quote, played right into the culture of corruption, the notion that there's, quote, different set of rules for elites like the Clintons. Looking back, do you wish that when he came over, you said, we really shouldn't talk? It would be really inappropriate and hello and goodbye? So, as I've said at the time, I think like days after that meeting, I regretted not seeing that issue and not seeing around that corner. You know, I regretted viewing it as just, again, uh, as the number of people who come by and say hello. It didn't cross your you mind see. when you were sitting there like, oh, somebody's going to make a big deal out of this. And, and our conversation went on a lot longer, certainly, than I had anticipated, it, because it was just going to be, hello, how are you? And everyone was going to go on about their evening, as far as we were concerned. He's a talker. Um, he is a talker, yeah. yes, yes, he is a talker. I really do believe, Jake, that, um, you know, things happen. And as I said, I wish I had seen around that corner and and, and not had that discussion with the former president, as innocuous as it was, because it did give people concern. It did make people wonder, is it going to affect the investigation that's going on? Um, and that's not something that was an unreasonable question for anyone to ask. And my view is, and always has been, that when you are in public life or even in private life and you make a mistake, you own it and you talk about it right away, you let people know what you're going to do to deal with the, with the impact of that mistake. And my concern was, what impact was that going to have on people's views of the Department of Justice and the work that we were doing? So in retrospect, I'm sorry, Mr. President, it'd be inappropriate for us to talk. You wish you'd said that? Well, I, I do regret sitting down and, and having a conversation with him because it did give people concern. Yeah. And my great, as I said, my greatest concern has always been making sure that people understand that the Department of Justice works in a way that's independent and looks at everybody equally. And when you do something that gives people a reason to think differently, that's a problem. It was a problem for me. It was painful for me. Um, and so I felt it was important to clarify it uh, as quickly and as clearly and as cleanly as possible. Do you think that Director Comey 